Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Ro Tem, and I would love for you to subscribe and be part of the family, so make sure to do that below. So this video is going to be a collab with my girls from the Ipsy OS group. Ipsy OS is kind of like a group for beauty influencers, and it was created by Michelle Phan, who also has Ipsy, which is the monthly bag of makeup and skincare stuff like that. So we are doing a collab on back to school type videos, whether it's makeup tutorials or hair tutorials or outfit kind of videos. So I'll have all of their videos linked below. There's a whole bunch in this group, so I'll have their videos linked below. And then you can make sure to watch and subscribe to their channel as well. So I was going to do a back to school makeup look, but I feel like that's been done so many times and I wanted to just do something a little bit different. So I decided to do um, back to school beauty tips. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So here we go. Tip number one. I would suggest that you blow out your hair the night before school, so you wash it and blow it out that night and then you can have kind of smooth hair that's ready for the next day. When you wake up, you can either leave the house with just your hair how it is or you can just add some curls or some braids and then it looks kind of done for the most part and that way you don't have to rush and blow out your hair that morning. Tip number two. So on lazy days where you really just don't want to do your hair or get ready at all, I would suggest just putting your hair up in a messy bun or just a done bun and then um, take out the front pieces of your hair like here or here and just leave them out or curl them and you'll look very casual, chic, comfortable but still done up and then you could just wear a really cute casual chic outfit and you can apply some concealer, powder, mascara, you don't have to apply any makeup but that's what I would suggest for lazy days. Tip number three, that goes like this. Tip number three, one of the best tips that I have that worked for me when I was in school is laying your outfit the night before. So you plan your outfit and then you lay it out for the next day and that saves so much time that you can spend either sleeping more or doing your hair and makeup or whatever, or eating. <laughs> Tip number four, instead of wearing a full coverage liquid foundation and caking it on, um, I would suggest getting either a tinted moisturizer or a BB or a CC cream so it has some type of coverage but it's also good for your skin and um, you can also get some SPF in the, moisturizer, in the tinted moisturizer so you're protecting your skin and you're taking care of your skin. Um, I think it's more important to take care of your skin than it is to like cake on your face at such a young age but I did it anyway so I can't even talk. Or what I use to do a lot in high school is um, I used a powder foundation so I use the MAC Studio Fix foundation and it's buildable coverage so you can apply as much as you want and it's not as cakey as liquid plus powder so that's my tip for that. Tip number five, get some dry shampoo because dry shampoo is going to be your best friend. Basically how it works is that if your hair is feeling greasy the next day after washing it like two, two day hair basically like you washed it two days ago um, and it's feeling very oily and greasy what you do is you just shake it up and spray it on your roots and then you just rub it in and brush it out and it's basically like shampooing your hair without actually washing your hair which is a really huge tip because then you can just leave your hair styled how it was if you blew it out or you curled it all you have to do is just spray a little bit of the dry shampoo and you're good Tip number six, I would suggest getting a cute makeup bag. Um, you can get one from Sephora or Ulta. They have some affordable ones at Ulta. And then you can fill it up with your beauty essentials. So I have a list of just a few things that I think are most important. Lip balm in there, hand sanitizer, um, lotion, and then a face spray to refresh during the day. So I really like this Caudalie spray, Jason Wu for Caudalie. It's a beauty elixir and it's really refreshing and it smells really really good so it looks like this you, this is a travel size so I would definitely suggest filling up your bag with travel size stuff so it's not too packed but yeah just things to you know refresh throughout the day and smell good tip number seven so I think braids are your best friend when you're in school me personally I had to wake up early when it's still humid and dark out and catch the bus so when I was walking towards the bus my hair would already frizz up like crazy because of the humidity because I live in South Florida so it's definitely very humid um, so what I would suggest is braid your hair whether it's like a side braid or two braids or fishtail whatever because then you'll avoid that whole situation and still look really cute 
what you can do is leave your hair in braids overnight so that way when you wake up and you take it out it has like a cute natural curl but might not avoid the humidity so make sure to put some hairspray in your hair so it sets what tip am i on i think i'm on tip number eight something i used to do for years i don't know if it's still in style but i used to um after i get out of the shower brush my hair out and then apply some like mousse in my hair and kind of like texturize it and then after take a blow dryer with a diffuser attached on it and then blow it out so it gives you like a really pretty natural wavy curl but make sure it doesn't get all stuck because no one likes that like hard hair for mousse it's not cute so just make sure that it's really nicely diffused and just a pretty natural curl so that is it for all my tips for back to school i hope you guys enjoyed it and it helped you um let me know some tips that you guys have for back to school for beauty related or even just organization and stuff like that so make sure to leave that below in the comments and i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Average noise! Two videos down! Oh, and stop recording again.